清气吹茶。睇下，好似系咪发毛啊？一笪笪嘅。It's a fungus that's gotten together with an algae, and also different types of algae, and even now they're finding there other organisms, other bacteria。好彩以前生物堂有听书啫，真菌就包括平时食嘅菇菌、酵母菌，或者引起香港疾疾菌。藻类咧就例如有紫菜、海藻同埋浮游植物，而细菌咧就有益生菌。亦都系会令人病嘅坏菌，所以真菌、藻类、细菌，我都知系咩？点解佢哋可以夹埋嘅咩？我我 just show you on that and kind of look and just press there as a light and just bring that right up to your eye. And then get right down close. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, right in, right into the rock. See little black dots. Yeah. Yeah, and put it right to your eye, the 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 lens, and then move your head right in then. So the little black dots. Wow, I, that's where the spores are. I wouldn't think of they are leaving things. That's right. No, most people don't. 真系唔会谂到呢啲系生物嚟噶，唔知以为系污糟咋。You can find them anywhere, any time of the year. Basically, a, a symbiosis or a combination of different life forms. So it's not one life form. He is Jesus Christ's Father John McCarthy. Five years old, he has already started to research the hidden depths of his heart. Years later, he wants to achieve more. Even in 2002, he started to work on his first book, The Secret of Canada's Wild Environment. 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 You know, it was a North Atlantic port. Say it's about 200,000 people now, 250 in the region. But still, we always had close access to uh, to, to the outdoors. So my dad was a great fisherman, a great fly fisherman. So I learned to fly fish before I could walk. I think. So I spent a lot of time with him outdoors. And then my parents would go pick berries in the fall, go camping, and I collect butterflies and insects and rocks and everything I could think of. So I spent so the nature became my school, and my teacher, and my my mentor in many ways. You know, 呢度系多伦多西边大概两个钟车程嘅 Guelph 贵湖市，系距离市中心冇几远嘅地方，有一大片森林。不过我哋今日嘅目标就唔系去睇参天大树，而系一种好细，我哋一定见过，但就未必识得佢嘅地衣。So here's the old villa. That was the foundation. So that's where we used to have the Villa for the vacation. Yeah, and it's right on the pool there. Yeah. Usually, when it's damp, you can see things. Eh? Really small stuff. But all the green you see—that those are mosses. So they're not lichens, huh? And uh, let's see on this rock here. These little black things, these black blobs. That's another lichen species, huh? The black one. 虽然地衣同青苔都系生长喺树皮、石头或者泥土表面嘅一层嘢，但青苔其实系植物，大部分呈绿色，而地衣就系一种真菌同光合生物嘅共生体。呢啲光合生物可以系绿藻或者蓝绿藻，又叫做蓝细菌。所以地衣不论系组成、形状，亦或颜色，都同青苔好唔同。That's right. So what you do then? You cut into this little black dots. And look at them under a thousand x under the microscope. Huh? This lens is made by a guy in Switzerland. <laughs> yes, for like anologists who work in the often work in shadows like this, so you need a good light source. Father John, 既系神父又系科学家，更加准确应该话佢系一个地医学家。不过科学家讲求证据，神父就会话你要信睇唔到嘅天主。佢身上呢两个身份会唔会有啲矛盾咧？佢话要用一个故事去回应呢个问题。Just imagine there's a fire in someone's backyard, you know, a little little fire, and someone says, "Why is that fire burning in your backyard?" And you could say, "The fire is burning in my backyard because the covalent bonds formed 200 years ago from photosynthesis are now being broken, so all the carbon, oxygen, carbon, you know, hydrogen bonds have been broken." 
light and smoke and carbon dioxide and methane are given off and, and, and flame. And so you would say, that's why my fire is burning in my backyard. Why is the fire burning in my backyard? Because I put a match to it. And you'd say, that's true as well. That's a true statement. And you could also ask the question again, why is that fire burning in your backyard? The fire is burning in my backyard because my children and I and my family want to have a wiener roast, a marshmallow roast, in celebration of our birthdays. So in other words, all three statements are true to explain uh, you know, the fire burning in their backyard. One is a scientific statement, the other is kind of a statement of fact because of, you know, of activity, I put my match to it. Another one is the intention, you know, yeah, we want to have a fire because it creates a nice atmosphere for our birthday. I would say this because there's only one world. We can look at it from different perspectives. In other words, there's, there's different layers to, to life. Like I can study the trees or how trees grow or how ecosystems function, uh, you know, from a scientific point of view. But also when people are walking in the forest or praying in the forest, it's also an experience of the forest but it's at a wholly different level, and often a deeper level than the scientific perspective. So in that sense, their science and faith are often presented as being opposed, but really, uh, that's, there's no necessity for that. The自然之間的共生關係 as you may know, most fungi, they either do two things, they either kill or they decay. You know how things go, go rotten, right? And that's how the, the fungus rot set out. So you see how soft it's become? So it was once hard wood, and then the fungus just decays it. And so once everything falls, it, it just starts to break down. They eat dead organic matter. Whereas lichens are not like that, because once they become lichenized, the fungi then can photosynthesize. So it changes its nutrition. It, it just makes, makes energy or food from the sun. So you got this wonderful, happy combination between a fungus it gets all this nutrition and food now from the algae, and the algae has got a protective uh, home in which to live as well. And so because they can photosynthesize, lichens are then found anywhere. They don't need soil to grow. You know, trees, rocks, soil, abandoned cars. I've seen them on abandoned cars in the forest, uh, concrete, you know, pavement. Anywhere where there's a stable surface over long periods of time, then the, the lichen can grow. 其實都真的挺有魅力的 I got a contract with the government of Newfoundland and Labrador to lead a, a rare lichen survey. And there was these rare lichens that were growing on the trees and people wanted to cut the trees, so they wanted to get a sense of where these lichens were and in different parts of the province. So it was basically then that I started to get introduced in a very concrete way to lichens. I don't know, then it just kind of, I was like, I was just like bitten by it. I mean, uh, it was a real sense of their beauty and the color and uh, yeah, there's just something about, I'm just fascinated with this type of organism as well. The first place has different colors and colors. Father John 
maybe I could show you like there's three main types of growth forms of lichens and the first one is the folios like they're like leafy like like lettuce on. Same fight they had you full you come in So it only grows in the in the uh, kind of high high latitudes in the Arctic and northern Newfoundland. You won't find it at all in uh, southern Ontario. It's too too warm here, you know. And when it gets wet, it gets really bright green, you know. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, it's getting a little, it, the algae is showing up, huh? Inside. And that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see how quite green it gets in that. If you cut into the leaf, there's a band of algae just inside the fungal skin. And then we have these uh, crustose lichens, you know, they go right on the rock. You can see that. That's a nice black one there, you know. And this will only grow on the coast. So seaside, seashore rocks. And there's another species there as well, yeah. This Spores can be blown around the world even. You know? Yeah, so wind. I wonder if like, there's no other trees around, how do the lichen get? Well, that's it, yeah, it's definitely by wind in that. So these are really common lichens in that, where there's a lot of nit like nitrogen in the air from car exhaust and fertilizers. <laughs> The nitrophilus, they call them, so that they can withstand pollution or in, in the air. 原来睇一个地方生长咩品种嘅地衣，系可以睇得出附近环境嘅空气成分。研究员会拣一个固定范围嘅地衣群，然后每几年量度佢哋嘅大细，同埋体内吸收咗几多唔同嘅化学物质，例如系硫、铜或者铅等等嘅空气污染物。累积到嘅数据就可以反映空气质量嘅变化，监察环境污染。真係估唔到咁細嘅地衣都可以有咁大嘅作用。And then you get these uh, so-called uh, fruticose lichens. They come up as a, like a three-dimensional structure, you know. And then, and then these are these are so-called beard like bearded lichens. So it's interesting. They're like pendulous from the trees. They just hang down. So you can just feel how light it is, you know. In Newfoundland, they call them old man's beard. <laughs> Yeah, and then so yeah, so that's what that's what you kind of do with old bands. And these have this lot of brown and black ones too. Yeah, we couldn't eat. We can't. We can't eat it. Now the caribou of the world, you know, the all the ungulates of the world, the reindeer, and they love this, and they can eat it and digest it. It's their main food. This is a this here as well, and this one. So just you know, that gives you a sense of the variety of, of growth forms. And like normally when you have plants, it's all green or they have leaves and look all look alike in general or stems, whatever. But lichens are quite uh, quite diverse. You know, you would never think that you know these are both lichens. Huh? This is the same as as that or this. You know, so it's a, so it's quite a quite a variety. 一次过睇咗咁多唔同形状同颜色嘅地衣。仲要開始學識欣賞佢哋嘅多樣性。全世界已經發現嘅地衣多達兩萬幾種，每個都有獨特嘅名。而其中一個由花德莊發現嘅新品種，更加係以佢嚟命名。What's the importance of giving a name? Well, it's like humans, you know, we give a name when we're born. We're christened, right? We're when we put a name to an organism or to a plant, to a lichen, to an animal, to a human. So it's no longer that or it. But it becomes a person, or it becomes a Acarospora macarthii. In other words, it has a name, and then I can enter into a relationship with that with that species. And then it's a, it's a way then to talk about the organism among many different people through time. So the, the organism is discovered, but only after it's named does it really become known. 正如我哋会为宠物甚至一啲物件改名，因为我中意佢哋。会同人讲起佢哋，佢唔再系是但一只猫、一只狗或者一个公仔。同样，造物主系咁爱佢所创造嘅一切，亦都愿意佢哋有一个专属嘅名字，而佢就将呢个责任同权利交咗俾人。In Genesis, right? God gave Adam the the mandate, the the vocation to name all the creatures, and、uh, and so that's very important, I think. You know, 
to do that. And Adam, of course, uh, Adama is of the earth. So God names the first human of the earth and Eve is the source of all life. And uh, so that's what we're called to do in many ways as well, you know, to, to enter into a relationship with the world created around us. And the best way to do that is to give it a name. And uh, it goes from there. Wait, see, this is a lot of fun. So there you go, yeah. You can see they're kind of brown, or like light brown. Oh, it's like tiny mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lake, in, what they call a lekanora samitka. See this here, right? That's a type of lake as oh. well. This is in the same genus as the new one I found, Cladonia ignatii, but this is a different Cladonia. So have a look at this one. <laughs> it's a, Cladonia is from clad, Greek, which means branch. So these are little fruticose lichens. See those there? In other words, they stick up three, like they're three-dimensional. See there? Let's have a look there. They look like worms that are sticking up. Mm. This looks scary. Yes, I, <laughs> <laughs> and some of these cladonia are beautiful. They grow really tall, you know, 20, 30 centimeters, and different colors and that. Father John 自细成日同大自然接触，似乎系顺理成章修读森林学。但佢話其實唔止係因為興趣，而係佢喺美麗嘅森林當中遇到背後更美麗嘅天主。I think I was seeking God really in, in my studies because I, I knew I wanted to study it. Why? Because not because I would necessarily get a job or you know make a lots of money. You don't necessarily make a lot of money in these areas, but I wanted to study what I love so much because I really found that sense of beauty and of goodness. And of mercy and compassion, I just found all of that in nature somehow. So my first experience of the divine, I think, is in and through the natural world. When we look at our first book of art, maybe it's art, music, or music, we will thank the artist. And when we look deeper into the work of the artist, we will understand the work of the artist and the work of the artist. The artist is very important to us. For Father John, the nature of the nature is really the work of the artist and the work of the artist. The nature of the nature is the work of the artist. 无论系研究一大片嘅森林，亦或一细点嘅地衣，都成为佢认识呢位创造者嘅机会。So I think the research in and of itself is kind of a divine act, you know, because trying to understand the creation of God really delve into it even more and more. t h e just the infinite variety and the the form and the shape and the color and yeah, just quite beautiful. This is just great beauty, and then the mystery. You know how they're all so different, and and I love the sense of、uh, systematization. You know, classification. I love seeing how things are related one to another, and the detail. I love detail. Maybe that's why. This would drive some people crazy, maybe, but for me, it's、uh, <laughs> it, it is quite quite beautiful. And really, when you encounter beauty, for me, you encounter God. You know, because God is beautiful. 见到美好嘅事物会使人开心，咁遇上无限美善嘅天主，又点会唔系伴随住喜乐咧 ？Find it very satisfying. There's a lot of joy in it. That's really where I find God as well. The joy. If it wasn't joyful, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. You know. <laughs> so it's fun. It gives me joy. It has a sense of meaning. I think、uh, we try to find God in all things, and John、uh, tries to find God in lichens. For him, it's clearly a way of finding God and how God works in nature. And it, for him, it's not just science; it's a religious experience also. And he delights in the way God pays attention to even the tiniest details. So it's, I, you know, over 60 years old now. So it's still kind of with me. It, there's a real deep passion because I think it speaks to me of my relationship with God, with the divine, with beauty. With goodness, and、uh, I know I'm, I'm just really at home. I'm very much at home and at peace in nature. 喺一切事上发现天主，系耶稣会会早圣依纳爵嘅精神。相信天主并唔遥远，佢活跃喺我哋嘅生活入面。只要训练我哋嘅灵性触觉，就能够喺一切事上睇得出天主嘅临在。咁当然都包括大自然同埋科学知识啦。所以早喺四百五十年前，正当欧洲出现科学革命。天文、物理、数学、生物学等等出现好多突破性进步嘅时候
，耶稣会已经好着重科学嘅培育。唔少我哋熟悉嘅名，包括利马窦、汤若望、德日进等等，都系出自耶稣会嘅科学家神父。I'm officially assistant to the provincial of the Jesuits in English Canada, but at the same time,、uh, I have a mission of、uh, focusing on the writing and、uh, and research, in particular in faith and science, ecology and faith, and also in the lichen lichenology. My provincial, Father Peter Bisson, has been very generous in giving me the time and opportunity, and even and financial support as well. So the Jesuits have also funded some of my lichen research and. 估唔到科学研究竟然都系佢作为神父嘅使命之一。除咗研究同写学术文章 ，Father John 仲会喺唔同平台分享佢关于科学、大自然或者户外考察时嘅信仰反省。其中佢喺做大学神师嗰阵写嘅每周分享，更加俾出版社邀请集结成书，销量仲相当唔错噶。When I entered, it wasn't assumed that I would be able to continue. The research, but I was sent on for my doctorate in forest ecology as a Jesuit. So I was ordained a priest, and then a couple of years later, I was then sent to University of British Columbia to do my PhD in, in forest ecology. So we really saw science as a way to evangelization as well. In the Vatican Observatory, which is run by the Holy See, the Holy See has given that over to us as a as a mission. Uh, so we train、uh, Jesuits to the doctoral level in astronomy, for example, or astrophysics or planetary geology, and they work full time、uh, in research、uh, at the Vatican Observatory. To have men trained、uh, to a certain level in the sciences is a really important part of how we understand、uh, our service of the church and service of the world. We may have thought that priests are just a job, helping to open and close seminars, but the truth is that they are much more. 应该话神父系一个生活方式，一个将生命入边住喺边、做乜嘢等等嘅决定权，完全奉献出嚟，俾掌上按需要而派遣嘅生活方式。佢哋可能会做本堂神父，或者教书、做行政，甚至系科学家。但其实工作所表达嘅使命，都系喺所属嘅岗位上传扬天主嘅福音。法德赞明明自细就希望研究森林。到底系乜嘢驱使佢甘愿冒住要放弃梦想嘅风险，都要加入修会，成为神父呢 ？When I was 14, you know, years of age or so, I was thinking of becoming a Christian brother. So religious life was very attractive right, at, right in those early years, 13, 14, and 15. But then I went off to university, and then when I went to Florida, University of Florida, for my grad studies in soil science. That's when things really started to happen. And as I came to the end of the master's program, I knew I had to make a decision. I was hoping to go on for my PhD at the time. I thought, well, marriage and doctorate, life of research, that was my future. But in the end, I really had to realize that if I didn't look at religious life seriously, I'd never be content the rest of my life. So I had to give it a, I had to give it a go, have a look at it. 读博士，结婚，做研究。似乎系人生胜利组嘅选择，但系佢内心就似乎有另一种声音同渴望啦。到底应该点拣呢？边条路好啲呢？呢、这个时候佢谂起一个方法，叫做神操，系十六世纪嘅圣伊纳爵经历生命嘅蜕变之后所写低嘅经验之谈，亦都系一本灵修手册。正如运动锻炼身体，祈祷操练就可以训练心灵，而至喺唔同嘅人生境遇或者内心渴望入边。深水清咁样辨认出天主嘅旨意。And I remember I went to the local Jesuit community and said I want to do the spiritual exercises because I hear that the exercises are helpful to make a choice between two goods. And I was really thinking seriously on marriage at the time and then or religious life and and well I just didn't know where I was how to make a good decision, you know. So anyway, eventually I was sent to Guelph here on retreat, and at the end of the retreat I applied. 几百年嚟，神操引领咗好多人认识自己嘅恩赐，同埋更深咁体会天主嘅爱。Father John 就系其中一个。经历三十日认真辨别之后，做咗呢个一生中最重要嘅决定。你话系几咁奇妙呢？喺天主同梦想之间，佢首先拣咗天主，但系天主唔单止冇要佢放弃梦想，反而将佢升华成使命，等佢可以继续研究之余。仲以研究成果嚟见证天主创造嘅美好
喺佢房入面挂住嘅呢样嘢，由佢读博士开始就保存到而家，正好成为天主存在喺万物之中嘅具体标记。Well, this is a I call a, a cookie from a tree, a balsam fir. It came from my doctoral research. I was examining the ring width, and at one point in time, I just sectioned it, and then this popped out. You know, so I kept it. And what it is, it's the old branches. But then, of course, they eventually die in the shade. They basically starve because they can't photosynthesize, and then they will just break off eventually. And then, so the tree keeps growing in width, and then、uh, it just grew, and then totally encompassed the、uh, the four branches. So it's a nice.、Uh, whereas this side, you don't see it at all. You know, it just happened to where the chainsaw cut. Ah,、uh, there you are. So I just kind of use that as. Really, kind of seeing God on all things and Christ, the Trinity at the heart of all creation. So it kind of symbolizes my own sense of the natural world. 科学研究可以帮我哋了解自然界嘅运作，而信仰就能够令我哋欣赏到大自然存在嘅原因，同埋天主临在嘅标记，两者相辅相成。就系、是、因为天主爱我哋，愿意人类同其他受造物拥有一个美好嘅家园，我哋自然有责任认识并且保护佢。呢一片森林其实系一个保育项目，希望用五百年能够还原森林嘅原貌。森林同马路对面嘅避静苑、有机农场等等，都系属于耶稣会伊纳爵中心嘅部分。成个中心嘅使命就系、是、希望帮助人喺同土地同大自然亲身接触之中，深化同造物主嘅关系。想知道更多呢个中心嘅特点同埋故事，请留意收睇另一集嘅《爱常传》。对我哋班同学嚟讲咧，影响最大几个神父，嗰、那个就系刘志刚神父。佢讲道理，我哋个个都唔会瞌眼瞓。谁不知呢位良师突然走到生死边缘？医生话：你预备棺材俾佢啊！更峰回路转嘅系三日之后，佢又忽然好翻。咁我哋做咗之后咧，真系佢奇迹咁样复原翻啦。到底佢哋经历咗乜嘢？竟然救翻老师条命？记得唔好错过呢个星期嘅爱上传。睇完呢一集嘅《爱上传》，欢迎大家打我哋嘅热线电话，分享一下你嘅感受或者系故事。同时都请收听我哋逢星期六嘅电台节目《爱生命》，以及订阅 Podcast。要购买天主教书籍同信仰灵修礼物，请嚟到我哋位于 Markham 嘅生命恩泉资源及媒体中心参观选购。我哋下星期同样时间再见，天主保佑。